Now, I know that you all have tests and projects and quizzes coming up, but I want you to hear me out for one second. I'm very impressed with the fantastic job that you did at the last competition. It was a small one, but I'm very happy with your hard work. However, one blueprint in particular really stood out, and I think it's only fitting that he become our next club president. Come on up here, Parker. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'd just like to say how grateful I am for being able to make it this far. When I applied with you all to the annual blueprint competition last year, I never imagined that my idea would beat out all of yours. But when I held that trophy in the air, when I held that trophy in the air, I knew that I deserved it. So thank you. Thank you all for believing in me, and thank you for making me president. Do you ever meet someone whose awful actions you wish you could expose to the whole world? Well, that's Parker Reno, and he doesn't deserve this. I could tell you that he's slimy, arrogant, and manipulative. But this story isn't about him. Good. Did something happen at school? It's fine. Just Parker was being kind of a jerk today in robotics club. I get it. Uh, hold on a second. Look, Nora. You know that you work really hard in that club, and he is just a cheater that will go nowhere in life. You are incredibly talented. Thanks, Dad. Hey, what's that? This? This is probably just junk mail. Knock yourself out. Well, this is a letter from the Official Association of Young Inventors. Wow. I have to start pointing now. See you, Dad. Okay, so maybe I've been looking forward to this competition for a while, and maybe I've already figured out the invention I want to submit. Still. Is there any point? Am I original enough? I want to compete, but do I even stand a chance? Unsure of where even to begin, I thought about asking my friend Hazel for advice. Hey, Hazel. Hey, Nora. I heard you were selected to compete in that fancy inventing competition. Yeah, um, not only do I have to make this amazing invention though, I have to make an infomercial of a few people using it. And I've never even filmed anything before, so I'm not sure where that's going to go. And then I'm not even sure if I'm good enough to enter the competition in the first place. Oh wow, maybe one of my poems will help lighten your spirits. Oh, the agony, horrifying, excruciating agony of stubbing one's toe. I forgot, this was the reason I literally never asked Hazel for advice. I cried 11 times. My friend Hazel was of little help. It seemed as if I would have to work on this infomercial all by myself. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Hey, oh. hey. hey Nora, I heard you need help. People using your invention for your infomercial? 
Yeah, I do, but why? no offense. If you're in my infomercial, I don't think anyone else is going to want to join. You're not exactly the most likable guy. Not likable? Me? My little brother will be the first guy to tell you what a grade A guy I am. You know how hard it's been on my family since my dad left, but now I've stood up and I'm a responsible adult. Plus, if I'm in your infomercial, all the girls will want to be too. I am a girl magnet. Fine, I'll give you the first part, but why girls hate you? Name one time a girl has ever hated me. Oh, I have to get my new... What's up, ladies? Uh, get out. What's up? Oh my gosh, what? Cover often. What's up? Doing anything tonight? Okay, so I've had my ups and downs, but if I was really so unlikable, then why did I receive a love letter today? A love letter? Yeah, check it. What up? Most students at my school were busy with homework and other things, so I decided to ask some teachers if they could help me. Um, hey, Mr. Lily, um, can you help me with an infomercial I'm working on for a competition? I'm sorry, Nora. I'm far too busy. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, what's that red stained coat over there? Have you ever been really, really angry? But one rejection followed the other. Hey, Mr. O'Brien, can you help me with the project I'm filming? Nope. I'm shopping on eBay. That's too bad. Um, thank you. Hey, Mr. Pendleton, can you... Never mind. And slowly, I started thinking about giving up. Sorry, you're just so insignificant I couldn't see you there. But I'm sure you get that a lot. <laughs> search. Other than Hazel, nobody else can help me. Wait, you're not considering not participating in the contest, right? Look, you should not be worried about this, okay? You know what, Lyle? You just, you don't understand. Nora, listen to me. Come, hey, where are you going? Hey! Look, Nora, I'm sorry, but I mean it when I say there's no need for you to worry. Nora, come on. Leave me alone. You don't understand. Um, hey, Wyatt?
mother called. She won't be able to make it. Sorry. It's me, Nora. Are you okay? Hey, Nora. I'm not doing so bad. I'll be in school tomorrow. I'll be eating crutches. That's good. Um, I'm really sorry for the way I acted. I forgive you. Look, as much as I would like to, I can't force you to believe in yourself. And I'm sorry if I seemed a bit overbearing. But... It's just that I wanted you to understand that you're a brilliant inventor and there's a reason why you were selected to compete in that competition. The only reason Parker stole your blueprints was because he knew you were good, that you were talented. Now's your chance to prove to everyone, including yourself, that you deserve this. I asked a couple of my friends to help you out tomorrow, so if you're feeling up for it, then you can film your infomercial tomorrow during lunch. Thanks, Wyatt. Um, that means a lot. Yeah, well, you're the only girl that doesn't completely hate me, so I thought I'd better help you out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That means a lot to me. I'm, I'm really sorry for the way I acted the other day. I'm pushing you down the stairs. Yeah, don't worry about it. Besides, the girls did the crutches. Hey, Stephanie! Not too long ago, I thought I wasn't good enough. Even though I was surrounded with people who told me I was, I still felt insecure. But I can't let that insecurity keep me from pursuing what I want, what I'm good at. I still have worries and doubts, sure, but not in myself, and not in what I can do. Ready to shoot in three, two, one.